Hey everyone, Simpod Spud here, and today I'm going to go over how to get the custom wing views for my Xbox users. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests on how I get these views, so this will be a great way for you to get better views for your flights and just add a little bit more fun into your sim. Um, I'm also sick right now, so sorry if my voice sounds a bit off, but I wanted to get this tutorial for everyone today. Uh, before we start as well, please hit the subscribe button down below and make sure to hit the bell notification to get all the latest videos on my channel. I will also link all my other socials down below so you can check those out as well. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Uh, before we start the tutorial, I would really uh, recommend getting a uh, keyboard and mouse. It will definitely help with uh, the sim in general so you can now... It just helps you look around better. Uh, you can select, you know, all the instruments a lot easier and a lot faster. You can use your scroll wheel to, you know, select different things. Uh, it just makes things a lot easier. Because when I first started, I only just had the controller. Uh, but Microsoft makes it so much easier for the Xbox because all you need to do is just buy a USB keyboard and it comes with like a little USB adapter you just plug that straight into the Xbox and then all you do is just turn it on and it is pretty much ready to go so it's not you know it's and they're not too expensive either like I got mine for like twenty dollars so it wasn't even that expensive either so I highly recommend it to anyone who's looking to really get into simming it will definitely help you out for sure um, uh, so another so before we actually get into the main part I will also go over let's see for the control options you also want to make sure to make this uh, tutorial a lot easier for yourself uh, you want to make sure that the toggle cockpit free look is also on uh, the hold for the left bumper um, I also mapped these myself uh, so this is the zoom cockpit view so it's just LB plus RT and then the unzoom is LB and left T and then another thing that I'll highly recommend is we're going to go into the search bar here uh, we're gonna use so if you have a keyboard, you can use arrow keys to kind of height, uh, increase your height or decrease your height uh, in the cockpit, and that's gonna help us out with the views in a second. So basically, if you do not have a keyboard, if you want to find out how to use it for this, basically all you gotta do is just make sure you're on the controller. Search by name. So we're gonna go to increase cockpit view height. And you should see it right here. Basically, just click on that. Uh, hit the start scanning, and we're going to do LB, RB, and RT. There's nowhere else on the controller uses these inputs, so this is why we're going to use this. Go ahead and validate that. And then we're going to go same thing. Instead of increase, we're just going to go down to decrease. And same thing again. Start scanning LBRB and the left trigger. Go ahead and validate that. And basically, what that allows you to do, oh, and also make sure apply and save. That basically allows you to do so when you hold those things, uh, when you hold those buttons down, LBRB, RT, that increases your height, and you hit the left trigger, decreases your height. So, this will just make things a lot easier to. Well, just get around in the cockpit, just look around, makes things a lot easier, you know, get different heights. Um, but that will definitely help us out in a second. So basically, so the main part of this is to actually get the views, what we need to do is a little bit of a kind of a glitch to actually bump us out of the cockpit. So what we need to do is to go over to the camera, click that, and you want to go down to the pilot tab, which is right here. Make sure we are on pilot, so I'm going to make sure that we are set. What you want to do is you want to hit the co-pilot seat, and that's going to bump you over here. And what you want to do is then hold LB, that's going to turn you into the free look, and then just scoot over to the left until you cannot go left anymore. And once that happens, then we're going to go ahead and hit the pilot tab, and that should bump us out of the plane. So that is pretty much, we're almost there. So the next thing you want to do is if you're on, uh, if you just have the controller, what we want to do is hit LB and the B button at the same time, so left bumper and B at the same time to save the custom camera. Since I'm going to do this on my keyboard, I'm just going to hit Control Alt One, and that's going to save the view. And then the next thing we want to do is hit F on the keyboard or hit R 
or hit the right thumbstick in to rehome us back in, and then what we're, we're going to do is hit Alt 1, and if you're on Xbox controller, just hit LBY to reload that camera that we just saved. That's going to bump you out, and now we are ready to pretty much start. So then just go ahead and look around. Uh, and also this method can be used with any plane. Uh, I have done this method with the 320 and the 787, and now I'm going to do it with the 747. So basically we're just going to glide along here. And you can set your camera up wherever you want once you're in this thing. So if you want to set it up and save it, uh, you can do it anywhere on the aircraft. I'm just going to show you like how I get those nice wing views. So I'm going to decrease my height like we did before, which is which of those buttons that we did. So those button mappings that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to decrease my height to basically get it in line with the windows. Or the same height as the windows. So basically get like a window height view. And then you just want to kind of position it to basically however you want. I'm going to pick a position here so I can get those landing lights. And you can also zoom in, zoom out, however you want it to look. Maybe bring myself down just a little bit. Once you find a position that looks good to you, next thing you want to do is to resave it. So I'm going to do Control alt one And if you're on the Xbox controller, just hit LB and B again. And that's going to save it. And basically what we want to do is just rehome the thing. It's going to zoom us back into the cockpit. And then we're going to reload that camera. And then there you go. And that's going to be one. So I'll do one more just to show you so you can get different views. So once you have that one, it's saved. We're going to go zoom in here. And these are way better than the default uh, fixed camera views that you can get because the cool thing with this is, so with those default camera views is that they're in these little boxes. So like the camera puts you in here when you do those fixed views. But the thing that kind of sucks is that, you know, they're not really the best viewing positions sometimes. And also you can't move them. So you can't, you know, move the camera around once you're actually looking in them. So this one looks good to me. So I'm going to position myself right here, and I'm going to save this one. So I'm going to do Control Alt Two. One of the downsides of the controller I've noticed is that um, I think there's limitations of how many cameras you can save. You can edit that in the uh, menu, like we just did with the increase height and decrease height. Uh, so you would have to button map uh, different controller like you know different buttons to actually get as many camera views as you want that's why i highly recommend using the keyboard because then you can have i use numbers one through zero on the keyboard so basically i can just go through basically 10 options of different camera views so it really helps so that's why i highly recommend getting a keyboard just to make it basically just have so many different views and different you know configurations for you know inside the cockpit and also for these wing views so basically I'm gonna hit save I'm gonna do control alt 2 to make sure that's saved go back to my cockpit we're gonna rehome and to make sure that's saved I'm gonna reload it so I'm gonna hit alt 2 and it zooms us right back into it and then I can switch to alt 1 for our first camera and basically you can just keep switching between your cameras now that's on the left side, so now if you want to do the right side, I'll just do a quick one. So basically it's the same process, except uh, instead of doing the co-pilot thing, we're going to do the pilot. So basically zoom over to the right until we can't go right anymore. And just like with the other process, we basically just do, instead of hitting the pilot, now we just hit co-pilot and it bumps us out. I'm going to save this. Remember to save it again, so I'm going to hit save, control, alt, three going to be saving, rehome the cockpit, and then I'm going to hit Alt-3 again, and then we're back out. And basically just rinse and repeat, except we're doing it on the right side. So I'm going to zoom over here, lower myself a bit, so I basically just copy the exact same camera that I set up on the left side, and I'm going to do it on the right side. Takes a little bit of time just because of the camera speed, but not to worry. Okay, so once you have that set, kind of position myself a little bit lower. There we go. And I'd say that looks good to me. 
All right, so then we're going to resave that to camera three again. So I'm going to overwrite the last one, so control alt three. Hit F on the keyboard or right on the thumbstick if you're using the Xbox controller, and then hit Alt-3, and we're going to reload it, and then we're back over. So then I could just switch between that one and the other side, and basically just kind of, you know, just switch between them, and then that's pretty much how I get those views. And then also, if you want to do one in the cockpit, also we're going to, you know, use that button map that I showed you before, so we're going to increase the view. I'm going to move forward, and I think I'm going to save a camera view right there. So I'm going to do Control alt 4 hit F to rehome it, and then there you go. So now I have four cameras that I just mapped out, and I can switch between all of them whenever I want to. You know, so you can switch between that one, back to this one, over there. So basically it just, you know, the, you know, possibilities are endless with this type of stuff. And then another cool thing that I was mentioning before is that once you're on these views, you can still move your camera around. So you can actually get a really nice view and look around while you're flying, taking off, landing, so you can get some really nice shots and just, you know, just make it a little bit more enjoyable, a little bit, add a little bit more realism to it if you want. Um, but that is essentially it. So once you have that, it is saved. Um, and like I said, you can do this with any plane, uh, and I highly recommend getting yourself a USB keyboard. It, it's so easy, you just literally plug it in, it's ready to go, and then a mouse, like I said, makes things a lot easier in the sim. You know, hitting all the instruments, the panels, it makes things a lot easier to look around, it's a lot faster. Um, but that is essentially it. Um, so basically, that's pretty much how I've been using those camera views. So I know you guys have been asking how I do that for a while, uh, but that is pretty much it. Um, so I hope this tutorial has helped you guys out a lot. Um, I will be making, uh, I'll be doing a lot more live flights this week. So stop by and tune in for those. And if you'd like any tutorials, any uh, certain planes, procedures, or any questions you have, uh, please let me know and I'll get those guides out for you or answer any questions you might have. Uh, but with that, I hope you all stay safe, happy flying, and I'll see you guys in the next video.